Welcome back to lecture four of uh, the course uh, Properties of Agricultural and Biosystems Materials. Again, the size of AB materials are important to a lot of physical agricultural processes. Uh, the engineering design of equipment, thankfully, has found the use of computational methods a big help in uh, simplifying the design uh, engineering design process. How? Uh, by having uh, simulations involving uh, the equipment and materials being processed even before um, there is a tangible uh, equipment or something that has been manufactured. So that's why if you would recall you're already done with your AB 101 because supposedly you should be able now to design and well before that your uh, CAD because you should have been able to design and then manufacture or uh, yeah, fabricate your uh, equipment and now you're going to study the properties of AP materials as another input in desi the design process What I will be showing you is the software EDEM by DM Solutions, which is a particle discrete element method or DM uh, computational software. Here, a designer can input a CAD design geometry, but that will not be our concern at the moment. Uh, what I will be showing you is the input of particulate matter, matter materials. So you right click uh, bulk material, click add bulk material. A new material will appear with its properties tab. The properties shown at the top are still beyond our concern at the moment. Uh, we will proceed with the input of material size. There is an option for the material shape, okay, which is our next lecture topic after this. Uh, the shape of a material should be defined first uh, prior to size. Uh, yeah, prior to size. In case of this software, shapes have been made divisible by okay, spheroids or spheres. Uh, these spheres or spheres are defined by a radius, okay? Uh, likewise, since the simulation will require thousands of this bulk material that is being defined, uh, the variability can be also uh, provided after setting the radius. So we have already discussed the size distribution, okay? The variability, the Gaussian, the log normal, okay? Or it can be just fixed. But there's also another option here of random, which is based on the random uh, number generator. Lastly, uh, there's a user-defined function that can uh, accept uh, example either of the Rosin, Rambler, Bennett, or Gates, Godin, Schumann models. A function with coordinates in an XY format is needed uh, for that user-defined function. So that's all. Uh, that's just a very simple introduction to the software using the size uh, input. We now further understand the use of particle size analysis with this example of uh, sieves or the sieve data. We have here uh, sieve data for a certain AB material. What is being asked is the Okay, the particle mean size and corresponding deviation of a bulk quantity of grains. Uh, okay, so the particle mean size for the whole sample with uh, with it with as a subsamples measured already of the mean particle size. Usually, after as passing through the sieves, so they, um, the material, uh, the, 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 there, there is sampling of um, particles from that um, sam well, set of, um, or subsample. So let us further understand what the table means, or what is given in the table. The top size was estimated to be the square root of 2 times the top sieve size or now equivalent to 1.4 millimeters. Uh, there is 5% uh, retained on the 1 millimeter screen. Okay, 
if the total feed was directed to the 0.3 millimeter screen, 40% of the feed would be retained. And there is nine, there is 95% there, there yeah, 95% um, that is finer than one millimeter, and 20% is finer than um, point zero point fifteen millimeters. So how do we solve this problem? We are we have this is actually a direct substitution of uh, values since we already know what the formulae are for x bar and uh, the standard deviation sigma and it's given by okay it's given by uh, sorry given by wait my pen is not working x bar equal to uh, m1 raised to 8 over uh, the square root okay the square root of m2 uh, raised to 7 so we will have to find first uh, m1 and m2 uh, sigma also is given since we already know sigma as uh, the square root of the ln the natural log of m2 over m1 squared so our formula will now become okay about m1 and m2 m1 is simply what m1 is equal to um, summation of xi and pi from i 1 to k which is how many samples do we have we have 5 okay so this is k is equal to 5 and m2 is equal to okay M2 is equal to the summation of um, xi squared pi uh, from i is equal to 1 to 5. Okay, so this it's very direct. We have here m1 is equal to um, 5. Okay. We have the particle size as 1.19. So 1.19 millimeters times 5%, okay, which is 0 0.05. So it's 0 0.05. And we have 0 0.77 millimeters multiplied by 0. 1 for 10 percent plus uh, 0 0.42 millimeters multiplied by 0 0.25 for 25 percent plus 0 0.21 millimeters multiplied by 0 0.4 for 40 percent that's the last for the fifth, we have 0 0.01 millimeters multiplied by 0 0.2. Computing for M1, we have 0 0.3275. Okay, uh, we go now to M2, which is just a variation of uh, the first or m1 we just have to square the particle size okay so m2 will now become okay, m2 is 0 uh, 1.19 millimeters squared 
times 0 0.05 plus 0 0.77 millimeters squared times 0 0.1 plus 0 0.42 millimeters squared multiplied by 0 0.25 plus 0 0.21 millimeters squared times 0 0.40 and lastly okay, 0 0.01 millimeters squared multiplied by 0 0.2 20 percent uh, solving we get here how much um, it's 0 0.19 uh one nine one eight five five okay five five yeah five five so we can now compute for x bar or the mean which is simply again uh it's uh, m1 raised to eight over uh the quantity square root of m2 raised to seven and we get here the mean to become uh, to be uh, 0 0.3275 raised to 8 over the square root of 0 0.191855 okay raised to 7 we have here 0 0.0427 millimeters and the last item is the standard division which is uh, a variation again so it's just a variation of m1 or m ln of m2 over m1 and it becomes okay square root of ln of 0 0.191855 over 0 0.3275 we get the value here uh, ln square root of ln of well, how much is this one okay. Um, okay, so this is 1.78 and then of 1.78 we get um, and then of and the square root of this one is wait 0 0.7 this uh, 0 0.762 so the final answer would be that the mean particle size is uh, 0 0.0427 millimeters plus or minus 0 0.762 uh, you can put the millimeters actually in the other end what does it mean so at any one time if you uh, pick a uh, particle from or yeah from the bulk you will be able to get uh, something um, that measures 0 0.04 millimeters or plus or minus 0 0.762 so it's within that range so it could also mean okay we now go to the next uh, slide it could mean okay so this is a uh, here's a histogram of the sieve data showing the p or the percent relative uh, quantity per mean particle size if you can see you have here the gaussian or normal distribution of the actual computed value of the mean and the standard deviation uh, we have here the mean okay here is the x bar sorry this, this is x bar we have here uh, the standard deviation the standard deviation minus 
So uh, the, the value of the standard deviation will give you, okay, this is 0 0.04 plus 0 0.76 would give you 0 0.8, but the other value is, okay, negative. So the abscissa, one abscissa is 0 0.8, but the other abscissa is non-existent because it is negative. Uh, the equation of the curve is where x is not equal to the mean particle size x bar. Why? Because it is not symmet uh, it, uh, it's not symmetric. So x is not equal to x bar since uh, there is a, the negative abscissa or yeah the negative standard deviation is non-existent. So it's not symmetric to the to the other uh, standard deviation. So th thank you for uh, listening and we'll be proceeding next to the property of shape in the next lecture.